so nano materials have provided us great opportunity to develop new things new technology and new applications the physical properties and applications of nano materials are only possible when nano structured materials are made available with desired size shape morphology crystal structure and chemical composition we need to produce these materials or utilize the unique features of nano materials as the synthesis of nano materials and its structures is very important for the development of nano science and nano technology there are two general approaches for the synthesis of nano materials they are top down approach and bottom up approach top down approach involves the breaking down of the bulk materials into nano sized structures or particles whereas bottom up approaches refer to the building up the material from the bottom and arranging them atom by atom molecule by molecule or cluster by cluster the top down approach can be understood as the process of carving a sculpture from a big stone or a piece of rock and bottom up approach can be understood as as assembling basic units into larger structures now comes evolution of nano science nano materials exist in nature and were in use for centuries since ancient time chemists have dealt with naturally occurring nano particles all along think molecules or viruses they are of nano size at medieval artist uh, used gold nano particles to achieve the bright red colors in church windows at atoms and molecules are nano scale objects we can even say that we are surrounded by and made of nano structures the existence and importance of nano materials could not be realized earlier due to the lack of proper instruments and devices to deal study and handle the materials of such a small size working at the nano scale with the available equipments in the macro world is like eating a grape on your plate with few kilometers long fork so for taking advantage of unique features of nano materials special equipments and devices are required the discovery of new powerful microscopes made it possible to see things on the nano scale and also manipulate them that is how men started working at the nano scale some of these equipments are like scanning electron microscopes these microscopes have higher magnifying power uh, as compared to the microscopes you have seen in the uh, your biology lab which uses light rays for making the images of the objects these uh, microscopes use beam of electrons to form the images and having high magnifying power due to the range of wavelengths where they can work some more important equipments which have given rise to nano science and technology is atomic force microscope transmission electron microscope then electron beam lithography there are many more uh, such devices because of which the nano technology was possible nano technology is not just simply working at with ever smaller dimensions as the material properties are size dependent at the nano scale regime the concept of tunability in the properties of the nano materials has emerged and it is very fascinating and powerful opportunity for the mankind 
these possibilities of designing the material structures allowed us to have an engineered materials. So let me conclude by saying that nanomaterials are not just small, they are different kind of small and nanoscience and technology will revolutionize the world we live in. Thank you.